My name is Ali Emenadi Tukumbo. I'm popularly known as AAA. I'm a student, I'm a designer. I'm just a young boy trying to make it. A designer is like someone that makes clothes, makes his own design, do something spectacular, something different from what other people used to do. A stylist is someone who just gets some clothes, gets trendy stuff and just make it, make it his own and use it for videos and all. To me, like I name my designs like streetwear, because I do something for the street. I'm a youth. I do something for my class of people, like youth like me, teenagers like me. I I do something at a reduced rate that teenagers can buy, maybe like a very cheap rate. Not all these five, fifteen thousand a shirt, twenty five thousand a shirt that they can't afford enough. I do something simple and classy, so we can just rock and play slowly. I started my design and all like that from the street. I got my inspiration from the street. So I just, everything I'm doing, I just started it from the street. So that's why I named it Street West. Street wear is something you can wear, like a casual wear. Something you can wear for parties, you can wear at home, you can just wear for, okay, like, let me go for this. So, so, so and social. I just want to put on something like this. Because I do something trendy. I don't want all these Ankara ish and all like that. They are kind of still to me. So I do something trendy, something classic that youths like me can wear. Because I don't want all these old, 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 all these native, native things like that. I'm not really into that. Anytime I see something new or something trendy. Maybe like a new design, a big designer, a big name, like Gucci or um, Louis Vuitton or anybody just doing something trendy. I just look at it and try to make something different from it. I don't do the same, the same thing he did. I'm going to try to do something different. I have a lot of A's my name. My name starts from A, Adi Tukumba, Adi Jumo, Adi Inka, Adi 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 Adi. So I just, I, was, I just, thought about it like okay triple A and my date of birth is 21 like May 21 so I was like okay triple A 21 who inspired me were not the celebrity type of people they're just these common people my family members my friends my aunties because I've done a lot in my life I was once a dancer I was once a model I was once this and that and that so uh, there was a time I just sat down just started drawing some designs like some clothes I just sketch them, put some design on them. And my auntie was like, okay, since you can draw them, why can't you bring them to reality? Like, make them. And I was like, okay. My mommy, my auntie, they gave me support. Then I didn't have money to do it. I was still a secondary school boy. So they, they give me money. They tell me, okay, do this, do this. I'll pay for this, I'll pay for this. So my auntie, my mommy, and my dad, those are the main people that got this thing into me. four, five years, to me, then I'm a superstar. To me, then I'm a superstar, like I'm well known, everybody are all dream for their stuff. And I have a dream that one day Obama will wear my clothes. I would be like, you just have to, like you don't have to get distracted by what they do in motion or by what is going on around you. Because 50% of people in motion uh, into this, okay, everybody is doing this, let me do this. Some people are the doubt, okay, because my friend is smoking, I want to smoke. Because my friend is playing game, I want to play game. Because my friend is following audio, man, she's driving this car, I want to drive this car. You don't have to do that. You have to think different and you become someone great.
How supersonic fast are you in thoughts? Do you think you can answer 10 questions correctly in 120 seconds? Then you are right and forbid the clock. Answer all 10 questions correctly and win fabulous and amazing prizes. Hey, what's going on? Ah, so you haven't heard. Oh. Etisalat is giving amazing data value and smartphones at the lowest prices. With up to 1.5 gigabytes free data sign up bonus and 100% bonus on all data purchases from 200 MB and above for 12 months. Can I show you some phones? <laughs> Get the latest devices at amazing prices at any Etisalat Experience Center or authorized dealers and choose from the blazing fast data and amazing tariffs all on your smartphone network of choice. Etisalat, now you're talking. How supersonic fast are you in thoughts? Do you think you can answer 10 questions correctly in 120 seconds? Then you are right and forbid the clock. Answer all 10 questions correctly and win fabulous and amazing prizes. I was born in England, in Bromsgrove, which is in the um, Midlands, middle part of England, and uh, then went to, came back to Nigeria. I went to Federal Government College, Lagos, and then University of Lagos, uh, where I studied history. Then I went back to England to go and study fashion design in Manchester at the Salford University College. Then I went back to London to train with two couture designers, Victor Edelstein and Christina Stambolian, before I set up my business in 1991, uh, uh, through the help of the uh, Princess Youth Business Trust, which was set up by Prince Charles to encourage younger talent in England. We were Lagosians, and uh, We've got a, um, a deep family history with Lagos, actually, because uh, a family house was actually on Marina, where you have all like the first banks and the UBAs now. But then, when the colonials, um, when the British came, they said um, people couldn't live on that part, and they wanted to develop it. So they allocated us a place in, in Bangbushi. So my grandfather. Uh, who was very industrious and he was a merchant for UAC, um, had a house then. Other houses, we have other houses on the Lagos Island. And he was the first person in Lagos to have an indigenous taxi service. Um, th there's another family, I've forgotten the name, they, they had a bus service, but we, we were the ones who set up the first taxi service in Lagos. So we still have a family house on Bangwashi as they call it, uh, Bule. And I think for the AO, we, we have um, forgotten the, we belong to an AO group, but forgotten the name. <laughs> but I remember when we were young, we used to go to the Lagos Island. And uh, so we have, you know, sort of a Lagos boy, like I say, you know, Federal Government College, Lagos, University of Lagos, from Lagos, <laughs> have a shop in Lagos now, you know, real Lagos uh, person. And um, I had a fantastic childhood and, uh, but I, growing up, I always wanted to be a designer, so I went back to England. And I'm still based there, but I recognize the importance of home, and that's why I set up a boutique in Nigeria. Let me be a perfect gentleman. How I started was that initially just used to sell to boutiques and shops in England, across England. And then after I opened my own boutique, uh, I had a salon in Mayfair and then later on moved to Ells Court. But now we're in the northwest part of London, which is in Swiss Cottage. So it's been a journey and then we opened um, a shop in Lagos. We've had a, the shop in Lagos now for about five years. So it's like a gr very gradual process. Um, you know, we've come a long way, but uh, we have to be very grateful because it's uh, been very 
exciting and challenging. And at the same time, I just feel like I've just started, like I haven't even achieved uh, <laughs> what I, half of what I want here. There's this general perception of us that we only deal with the, like the high class, the upper classes, the extremely rich. Uh, Kucho is not very affordable. It's only, you know, um, accessible to a limited number of people. Um, but we have a diffusion line which is called Bakery Breeze and um, the whole concept of that is to make it more accessible to other people because the, the price is a bit lower. You still get a very good quality but the prices are lower so more people um, are able to afford it. And that's the, the, the whole idea because yes, fashion is um, at times elitist, especially with couture. But the whole idea of doing the fashion was to make it more accessible to others. But the, we're still having that perception that once they hear the name Adirakari, they just assume, ah, oh, it's going to be expensive, you know. So this is part of what we're doing now, the fashion shows here, projects here, you know, there in Nigeria. So people can be aware that we're trying to reach a wider audience, so it's not just um, an exclusive brand for the privileged. A friend of mine, Shagun Lawson, had brought some of this Adire uh, fabrics because his mom um, does them. And he said, I should use them in my collection. So I said, OK. As a trial, here are some fabrics that I usually use. Try and see if you can do the Adire on them, and we can take it from there. And he brought them, and I had some things made, and we put them in the boutique in Lagos. And they sold very quickly. Then I realized that, yes, they would sell because Nigerians can recognize indigenous things and things that they, you know, recognize as their own. And it had an emotional appeal. So um, I said, OK, I'll try and design a whole collection using those, that silk area. Then I was approached by Ogun State, uh, the Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Mrs. Yewande Amushan and she wants me to promote Adire internationally. So we're working on a project on how to promote it abroad and for people to know the origin of um, Adire because now, you, I mean, you get Adire in West Africa, like countries like the Gambia, Senegal, have their own variation of Adire. And even in um, Oshogbo, they have their own variation of Adire. But the origin of Adire is still Abekuta. So part of the project was to let people be aware that this is the origin, this is where it comes from. There can be different interpretations of Adire, you know, but the origin of it is from um, Abekuta. So I went to Abekuta several times, met some of the families that do this Adire, because it's interesting to know that there are families involved for generations and it's, you know, they pass it on from one generation to another. But sadly that's been dying because a lot of the people in those families, the younger ones don't want to do it anymore. They want to just come to Lagos or do something totally different. So it's almost like a dying art and it's important that we preserve this. So I went to a bear cutter and had most of them do a lot of the silks that you saw that we displayed at the fashion show yesterday. And what I also realized was that they were not very adventurous in Abekuta. They prefer to do it the classical way, which is fine. It's just that as a designer, you're always looking ways of how to do things differently. So I came to Lagos and used um, a lady that I have always used to do the modern Adire, the way I would like to see it done now. And so it's a combination of both the classical and the modern. How supersonic fast are you in thoughts? Do you think you can answer 10 questions correctly in 120 seconds? Then you are right and for beat the clock. <laughs> answer all 10 questions correctly and win fabulous and amazing prizes. Going on. Ah, so you haven't heard? No. It's a salad giving amazing data value and smartphones at the lowest prices. With up to 1.5 gigabytes free data sign up bonus and 100% bonus on all data purchases from 200 MB and above for 12 months. Can I show you some phones? <laughs> 
Get the latest devices at amazing prices at any Etisalat Experience Center or authorized dealers and choose from the blazing fast data and amazing tariffs all on your smartphone network of choice. Etisalat, now you're talking. How supersonic fast are you in thoughts? Do you think you can answer 10 questions correctly in 120 seconds? Then you are right and forbid the clock. Answer all 10 questions correctly and win fabulous and amazing prizes. I was speaking with Luis um, Adelaja and um, we have a lot of parallels in the sense that we both like to do very creative things. I think that's where we get a lot of uh, um, creative buzz from. So I'm quite looking forward to that. There's also other projects like the um, MTM Project Fame, which we were commissioned to do some styling for. Uh, we, we did the openings, um, Gambit for them, and then I think we did a few weeks after that. And we currently just did the African Legends. So that was quite exciting, working with young artists, seeing, you know, we did a masterclass advising them on deportment, um, how to present themselves in public, and what to look for. Yes, we're on Twitter, and that's Adi Bakari, one word. Um, Adi Bakari Couture without the E. And for Instagram, it's Adi Bakari, one word. For Facebook, we've got two pages. We've got Adi Bakari Couture London, and then we've got Adi Bakari Couture. And uh, I think that's it, really. <laughs> Okay, if you're in the design industry, you've got to persevere. You might have very high aspirations. What, the most important thing is that whatever you want to do in life, you have to persevere and have your faith in the Lord and He will see you through. Let's see you. 